Welcome back. Uh, let's get a corporate conversation going. Nucleus Software is on our radar on the back of its Q3 earnings. While the revenues were up 20% on a year-on-year -year basis, margins for the company have come down. Margins are now at 23-24%. The stock right now on the back of the margin compression is under pressure, down 5%. But in the last one year, the stock has seen a gain of more than 250%, 268% to be precise is the gain over the last 12 months. Vishnu Ardusat, the co-founder and managing director of the company, is with us on the show. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for uh, joining in. If you could explain the margin compression. Margins for the company have come down quarter on quarter. It's lower compared to the you know 40% margins that you enjoyed a couple of you know quarters back. What led to the weakness and what is the outlook on margins going ahead? Uh, thanks for having me over. Uh, as far as the outlook is concerned, we would uh, want to maintain a 30% plus uh, kind of uh, margins. And the reason for uh, <clears throat> this particular fall is uh, we were expecting some orders which have got delayed and we are uh, you know, expecting no them now in uh, coming few quarters and that's when we'll be able to catch up on the margins. What was the extent of the delay in orders and is it because the demand environment is soft that we've seen? Uh, the order booking to be a bit slow and what was the order number this time order booking number uh, yeah as far as um, order booking numbers are concerned uh, I'll be able to tell you yeah, we booked um, orders for 743 crores uh, I mean that is a uh, outstanding number uh, as of uh, this moment, uh, mm. the orders booked during the quarters have been uh, around 45 crores. Mm. Uh, Mr. Dusad, uh, can you give us some perspective on uh, what you're seeing with respect to pricing trends in uh, in your orders going forward as you're looking at newer contracts? And, uh, you know, what is the growth visibility for the fourth quarter? Uh, as far as the fourth quarter is concerned, I would, or for that matter, uh, coming quarters are concerned, we, we do not give any guidance, so I won't be able to talk about it. Uh, as far as, um, sorry, what was the other question you raised? Pricing, sir. What is the pricing yeah, and yeah, demand, yeah. Uh, demand sense that you're picking up from customers? Uh, yeah, as far as pricing is concerned, I think uh, we continue to be uh, very bullish about it, uh, simply because of the fact that I have earlier also mentioned on your show, that our prices earlier were, uh, you know, ultra deep discounted prices. Uh, we have just removed the ultra part of it uh, right now. And uh, because the value that we deliver is uh, so immense. So we continue to be bullish on the prices part and uh, our customers are uh, appreciating that. And uh, they're, they're open to, uh, you know, place orders with uh, us on uh, increased prices. I remember in the last conversation, you said that domestic contracts have moved to the revised AMC. That's higher pricing. While you are in the process of moving to new pricing on the overseas contract. So for your overseas contract, have you moved to the higher pricing or what percentage of your book has moved? Or is there some pushback? Uh, no, there is no uh, pushback. Only thing is it is taking a slightly longer time. Uh, than we were expecting, than uh, we were able to achieve out of uh, India. Uh, but yes, uh, around 50% of them have already moved to the new prices and balance 50% uh, would be moving in that direction. Okay, so 50% of the overseas contract have moved to higher pricing. And on an average, sir, what would be the increase in the pricing now? Okay, it, it uh, varies uh, from, uh, you know, customer to customer uh, and, and uh, there's no range because uh, when, when we sold, it, if it was sold at a very low price, then the increase is substantially higher uh, and uh, if it was sold at a reasonable price, then the, the uh, increase is not that high. That's how I would put it. What's the cash in the books now and how do you plan to utilize it? Uh, it's uh, around 800 crores and uh, as of now, it will uh, continue to remain uh, in the same manner. We have no plans to uh, do any acquisitions. Uh, a higher special dividend perhaps, a buyback, is that on the cards? Uh, th those are the factors that would certainly board would be taking into account and uh, announcing it as, as it seems okay. fit. All right, uh, so thank you for joining in. And giving us some perspective, stock, of course, is still locked in lower circuit, down 5%.
Thank you for joining in. By the way, the mid-cap index has slipped and it is now in the red. So this mid-cap correction that started yesterday, it's clearly not over. And the advanced decline ratio is also negative. So keep that in mind. That's the mid-cap index. And once again, you've got more stocks declining than advancing. The crisscross lines will come up for you. There we go. Take a break. Come back with more in just a bit.